Well, praise God. Greetings, family of God, in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus. I'm so excited that I can come to you at this present moment um, just to release what the Lord has laid on my heart and within my spirit to encourage the body of Christ. And I pray that you'll be tremendously blessed and be encouraged with God's word. The word of God says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Family of God, you might be going through whatever challenges right now. You might be faced with storms right now. You might be going through some difficulties right now. But believe the word of the Lord that God is faithful. He's a faithful covenant keeping God. He's faithful to his word. He's faithful to his promises. As you're going through this season, God is teaching you how to learn to trust him. How to learn to trust him. Know that when you put your complete trust in God, you will never be forsaken. You will never be disappointed neither will you be put to shame. You can place your confidence in God, family. For God is not a man that he should lie. Has he not said it and shall he not do it? Family of God, believe the word of God. The word of God has been tried and tested. You can take heed to God's word. God is faithful. Family of God, be encouraged to know this. Trust God. Trust in God. Rely on God. Don't lean on your own understanding. Stay true to God. Stay true to God's word. For God is faithful. Believe in God, family. Believe in the faith in God for who he is. Praise God. He is the promise keeper. Amen. And believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that the promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Jesus Christ is our sure foundation. Hallelujah. Amen. Our hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. So family of God, I've just come to encourage you for you to continue to trust God. Trust in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Trust in the Lord completely. Do not rely on your own opinions. Take God at his word. Praise God. For God watches over his word to perform. Jeremiah 1 verse 12 says, Then said the Lord to me, You have seen well, for I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. Praise God. God watches over his word to perform it, family of God. And I'm encouraging you today, as you're going through your process, be encouraged not to say what the world is saying. Because if a believer is saying what the world is saying, you are speaking death. Be encouraged that as you go through this process, that you say what the word of God says. Only speak the word of God. Only speak life. Only prophesy life. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And don't give in to the lies of the devil. Amen. The devil is a liar. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So be encouraged to trust God. Trust in the Lord completely. Amen. Don't rely on your own opinions. Praise God. Don't rely on anyone else's opinions. Amen. Take God at his word. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Praise God with all your heart. And allow yourself to be led and governed by the Holy Spirit. Not by your feelings and emotions. Because your feelings and emotions are deceptive. Okay. Praise God. And the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you in your decision making. In this process where you at family of God. Don't be too busy 
Make the time to spend time with God in your waiting. And know that your waiting in God will not be in vain. Praise God. You remain in intimacy in the secret place with God. Hallelujah. In communion, in fellowship, in habitation with God. And know that when you yield your total being to God and to the Holy Spirit, He will lead you and He will guide you, family of God. And be encouraged to know this hallelujah be encouraged to know this word coming from the Lord right now that God will work everything together for good for you praise God you just believe God you believe God's word you just believe the report of the Lord praise God and know that you can trust God from the bottom of of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own where you're at right now. Be encouraged through the process that you're in right now is to trust God through the process. Amen. Don't miss God. Don't do it without God. Be encouraged to do it God's way and do it with God. Don't lean on your own understanding. Praise God. In everything that you do, you do it with God. God. You do it God's way. Praise God because you are in expectation for God's results in your life. Amen. So I'm challenging you today to position yourself for great expectation that will come from God. I'm telling you, your waiting in God will not be in vain. Family of God, you can trust God. You can rely on God. You can depend on God. Praise God and know that in this season, know this in this season family of God that you need to know that without God you can do nothing don't think you can do it without God don't think you can make it without God family of God we need God we need God right now like never before praise God so don't be disheartened don't be discouraged don't be disappointed know that God is the lifter of your head hallelujah praise God and know that God cannot lie what he has promised he shall fulfill it in your life. Be encouraged to walk in total obedience to God and his word and know that God watches over his word to perform it. Praise God in the name of Jesus and be encouraged to know that in this season, don't force people to go with you where God is taking you in your God next. Let them go. Stop holding on to things. Stop holding on to past things. Be encouraged to let go and let God be God in your life. Praise God. And so I'm just encouraging you today, family of God, that since you have been risen with Christ, seek those things above. Don't be tossed to and fro by any winds of doctrine out there today. I'm telling you, family of God, stay true to God. Stay in the word of God. Stay in meditation upon the word of God. God. Hallelujah. Praise God and know that God watches over his word to perform it. Praise God. Be in meditation to the word of God. Amen. Speak only what the word of God says into that situation, into that circumstances, into that uh, uh, problem. A family of God, be encouraged. Be encouraged. And I challenge you today. Stop walking the length and the breadth of your problems. Come on, people of God. The word of God says, since you have been risen with Christ, Colossians 3 verse 2, verse 1 and 2. Since you have been risen with Christ, seek those things above. Hallelujah. Praise God. So stop walking the length and the breadth of your problems. Hallelujah. Praise God. Know that God has got great things in store for you. Know that God has got better in store for you. And I'm encouraging you today, going forth from today, you remain in total submission to God. You remain in total submission to a uh, obedience to walk in obedience to God and his word family this is not a time for you to walk contrary to the word of God this is not a time for you to run with the crowd this is the Bible says that a double-minded man will be unstable in all his ways this I'm telling you you've got to set your affections on things above you've got to be in meditation upon the word of God so that your mind is renewed praise God and that you start thinking the thoughts of God so you start speaking the word of God into the atmosphere praise God hallelujah and know that in this season 
in this season and in this hour, don't force people to go with you. Don't do that. God has got you where he wants you to be. And that's in a place of, it might look like isolation, but it's in a place of habitation. It's a place of quietness with God. And in this place of you trusting and waiting in the Lord, I'm challenging you today to be in quiet habitation with God. Don't be too busy. Don't be too busy to spend time with God. Don't be too busy to seek God's face. Don't be too busy to, to, to be in communion with God. Be in the place where God wants you to be right now, family of God. Because when you're in that place with God, Listen to me. When you're in that place with God, you will begin to hear the Holy Spirit. You will begin to hear by the Spirit of God what He is saying to you now where you are. At. Praise God. Don't be caught up with what is surrounding you right now. No, no, no. Know that God, listen to me, know that this affliction is just but for a moment which cannot be compared to the glory of the Lord that shall be revealed inside of you today. Family of God, don't run to the world. Don't run to the things of this world. I'm telling you, take, take God at his word. You stand on the word of God. You stand on the promises of God and know that the battle is the Lord's and the victory belongs to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So remain in the place, in the secret place of the Most High God. Remain in habitation with God and know that your waiting in God will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, family of God, I want you to know this. That God has got you. God has got this under control as you place it in his hand for him to have total control. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And know that with God, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So be encouraged today, family of God. Go out. Influence the earth. Influence the earth with the glory of God. Influence the earth with the fragrance of Jesus Christ. Influence the earth with the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Family of God, this is not a time for us to throw in the towel. No. God is looking for people on the forefront now that are bold, strong, courageous, who is willing to stand up for truth and righteousness and fairness. I'm telling you, family of God, Trust God. Learn to trust God. Hallelujah. Amen. Learn to trust God. And know that God watches over his word to perform it. Family of God, as I leave, I pray that God will bless you. I pray God will keep you. I pray God will cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and grant you peace and unmerited favor. I decree and I declare increase. I decree and I declare favor. I decree and I declare supernatural breakthroughs in your life in Jesus name. I decree and I declare the release of supernatural divine healing grace to your body now, your total being to be made whole again in the name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare that you will flourish, that you will increase, that you will prosper. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, know that you are born, amen, to have dominion in the earth. You have a purpose in the earth. So get up from where you are today. Discover your purpose. Know who you are. Know whose you are. Know who lives on the inside of you. You have a purpose in the earth. You have been divinely purposed for purpose in the earth. You are not a mistake. You are not an accident. Hallelujah. Praise God. You have a purpose. Praise God. And know that God has got great things in store for you, family of God. So I'm encouraging you today. Stay true to God. Stay true to God. Stay in God. Stay focused on God. Set your face as a flint on the Lord. Set your face as a flint on the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't look who's behind you. Don't look who's not with you. Don't look who's left you. Family of God, know that God is for you. He's with you and he's not against you. You just be encouraged to hear and obey God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. So you just hear and obey God. You silence the voices of the accusers. You don't entertain any negative comments. 
You don't entertain any negative statements. You don't entertain any negativity. Family of God, you get that out of your life. You get that out of your mind. You get that out of the atmosphere of your environment. And family of God, you begin to stand on the word of God. You begin to stand on the promises of God. And you begin to decree and declare the word of God, the promises of God. And I'm encouraging you to know this truth. That God will work everything out together for good for you. Because you love him. Amen. And you know know that you are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. So God richly bless you. I pray God will favor you. I pray God will shower you with, 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 with supernatural and unlimited blessings. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let me say this to someone. Amen. Let me say this to someone. God has got you where he wants you to be. Don't try to figure it out. He's got you where he wants you to be. So don't try to figure it out. You just trust God. You just trust God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you set your face as a flint on the Lord. Hallelujah. And God will turn things around. I do believe we serve the God of the turnaround. Hallelujah. And so I prophetically decree and declare that God will turn things around. Mandre bro shakama. God will turn things around for you. Amen. Praise God. Those things that were trying to come against you. God is turning it around. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is turning it around and he's gonna, it's gonna, it's going to work in your favor. It's going to work in your favor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So be encouraged family of God. God is teaching you how to learn to trust him in this time. The word of God says, for I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. The word of God says that my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So family, don't doubt God. The word of God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Family, don't move away from the first priority. The first priority must be you and I is seeking the kingdom, is going after the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And number two, walking in upright, standing with the Lord. Righteousness. People don't want to talk about repentance. People don't want to talk about righteousness. People don't want to talk about obedience. They just want to talk about blessings and blessings. Family, there is conditions tied to, 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 to blessings and obedience and holiness is important. Repentance is important, family of God. This is not a time for you to walk contrary to God's plan and God's order for your life. This is not a time for you to walk in disobedience. God never blesses disobedience. God never blesses rebellion. Rebellion, family of God, when you stay true to God, you will lose some religious folk. You will lose some churchified folk when you choose to go after the kingdom of God and remain true to the will and the plan and the purpose of God for your life. I'm encouraging you today. Know that God is with you. God is for you. He's not against you. No matter how many people are against you, God is for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And know that God's got this and God has got you. Hallelujah. And I prophetically decree and declare that all destiny killers from your life be removed in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare destiny killers from your life be removed in the name of of Jesus. And I decree and I declare that God will assign destiny helpers along your journey, along your life right now in the name of Jesus. For every vision that you have for advancing the kingdom, that God will assign destiny helpers. Oh, that will provide provision for the vision in Jesus' name. Don't give up. Don't give 
up. Don't give in to the lies of the devil. Don't give in to this government. Don't give in to anything of this world. You know that you are in this world, but not of this world. You are part of another kingdom. You are a kingdom ambassador. You are a kingdom citizen. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer. You are who God says you are. You can have what God says you can have. You can do what God says you can do. May God take you to places you've never been before. May God allocate you and elevate you in seats you thought you could not sit on. Why? Because God calls the unqualified and you have been qualified by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And so I encourage you today, lift up your head. He is the lifter of your head. Don't be caught up with what's happening around you. No, 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 no. Lift up your head. Oh, ye people. Come on, people of God. Lift up your head. Look unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. And know that as you go through this process, that you do it with God. You do it with the help of the Holy Spirit. You cannot do it in your own strength. It is impossible. The word of God says in Philippians 2 verse 13, the Amplified Version says, not in your own strength. Many people today are trying to do it in their own strength. Many people are trying to do it placing dependency on people. Many people are trying to do it without God. And I'm telling you, you cannot do it without God. Without God, you can do nothing. John 15 verse 5, without God, you can do nothing. And let me encourage you today, family of God, to share this wonderful secret with you, this wonderful mystery with you, family of God, that you have the gift. The gift is the person of the Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of you. He is your helper to help you through this journey called life. He's your helper to help you through this process. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And praise God and that you will live victorious and know that you are not defeated. You are a winner. You are not a loser. You are purpose. You have purpose. You are not pain. You are not a mistake. But you are a miracle. Oh, hallelujah. You are a miracle. Praise God. You are a miracle. Hallelujah. And so be encouraged, family of God. Spend time. Quiet time. With the Lord. Don't be too busy in this season. God hates busyness. And busyness is a sin. Make the time. To spend time with God. To hear what Holy Spirit is saying. Elevate your level of your hearing. Elevate your eyes. That you will see with the spiritual eyes. What God wants to show you. And what God wants to say to you by the Spirit of God. So that you will hear accurately and you will be able to respond correctly in your world where God has assigned you to be right now. You are the help to somebody. You are the hope to somebody. You are the solution to somebody. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are the city set on a hill which cannot be hidden. Today, family of God, go out. And influence your world for Jesus Christ. So family of God. God again is saying to you and I today. What you're going through. Is just but for a moment. I'm teaching you how to learn to trust me. Let me also say this. You have to go through. What you have to go through. In order for you to grow through what you have to go through. So family of God, you're just going through something right now. It's not meant to stay. Valleys are not meant for you to take a pillow and lie down and complain. This is a season for you to stop fussing and fighting and complaining. And looking for a pity party 
trying to get attention to yourself. Nobody sees me. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares about me. God sees you. God loves you. God cares about you. He said in his word, I'll never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Take comfort to the word of God. The truth of God's word. Hallelujah. So your valleys are not meant for you to take a pillow and lie down and sleep. But your valleys are meant for you to go through. You are just going through something right now. It's not the end. It's not over. God has the final say. God is your vindicator. Today I prophetically prophesy that God will vindicate you from every injustice and unfairness situation at home, in the workplace, in the ministry, in the name of Jesus. I pray the justice of God to be the forefront of every matter. And I pray the fairness of God to be the forefront of every matter. You will not lose. You are a winner in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Well, family of God, this is Apostle Joseph Osborne. It's been a very long time since I've done a live um, broadcast like this. I know I'm on on a Sunday morning, uh, but it's been a while since I've done one Facebook live like this. Uh, I just had to be obedient to God. And I am just his vessel, a humble servant of God. Family of God, please feel free to share this with your family, with your friends. Amen. And know that you will be a blessing to somebody. Praise God. Amen. So lift up your head. Lift up your head. Smile because your God is on the throne. Your God is on the throne. He's never lost a battle. He'll never lose a battle. He is with you. And he is for you. And he is not against you. I pray may God bless your home. May God bless your family. May God bless your marriage. May God bless your children, your grandchildren. May God bless your ministry. Every fivefold minister on this platform, thank you. God bless you. God bless your ministry. God bless your leadership. God bless your family. God bless your life. God bless each and every one of you that's taken the time to tune in. God bless bless you and God keep you and God cause his face to shine upon you family of God stay true to the gospel of Jesus Christ we have to return back to God we have to return back to the true living God and let me also say this you have to return back to your true self because some of you have lost your way along the process God loves you. If you've made any mistakes, I'm telling you, mistakes is not failure. Mistakes is part of your process. And know that you have an advocate with the Father. His name is Jesus. That you can arise from where you're at now and know that you have hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is in Jesus. Healing is in Jesus. Deliverance is in Jesus. Your wholeness is in Jesus. So be encouraged, family of God, to go after your healing, go after your deliverance, and know that God watches over his word to perform it. Stay with God. Stay in God. Stay focused on God. No matter how much it may cost, never doubt God. Never doubt God's word. Why? God can not lie. God can not lie. Be encouraged to stay true to God. You are valuable. You are special. You are a valid asset in the body of Christ. You are a somebody. You have a purpose. You are purpose. And I pray that God will divinely connect you with destiny helpers. You might have lost people along the journey and trying to figure out what happened.
But I want you to know God was involved in everything. But God never left you. He has great things in store for you. He has better in store for you. Know that you are a somebody. You are a somebody. If people told you you're nobody, I'm telling you today, that's the lies of the devil in the name of Jesus. You are a somebody. And God has placed value in you. You are valuable. You are special. You are precious in the sight of the Lord. You are the apple of God's eye. And I decree and I declare to you today, you can do what God has called you to do. You can be what God has created you to be. You can go where God has told you to go. You can have what God says you can have. No demon, no devil, no witches, no wizards, no warlocks, no man, no woman can stop the plan and the purpose of God for your life. Oh, praise God. Many are the plans of a man's heart, but the purpose of God shall prevail for your life. Amen. My prayer for you today, I pray that the purpose of God prevail and be established in your life, in your children, in your home, in your marriage, in your ministry, in your business. Hallelujah. The purpose of God prevail in Jesus name. And I decree and I declare divine healing grace. Be released upon all God's precious people whose body is under attack right now. I cancel every attack on your health and your body in the name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare the release of God's divine healing grace to your body now. In the name of Jesus, those who are going on through surgery, those who have also come out of surgery, those who are in the hospitals, those who are at home, those who are in the hospices right now, wherever you may be, I release by faith, I release the supernatural healing grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God, to touch you and heal you and make your total being whole again. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. I prophesy divine health. I prophesy Zoe life to you now. And I decree and I declare that you shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, pains be removed. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Tumors dry up. We serve a God of miracles to heal you from cancer. We serve a God of miracles. There's power in the blood of Jesus to heal you from any sickness, disease, HIV, heart attacks and strokes. In the name of Jesus, I bind it and I rebuke it in Jesus' name. And I decree and I declare that you shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of suicide to someone today who things like giving up and throwing in the towel and who feels like God doesn't see me God doesn't love me God doesn't know me let me tell you you are loved by God and I pray the love of Adonai the love of the father wrap around you right now as a shield of protection and let you know that you are valuable you are special and you are created in the image of God you are wonderfully and perfectly made in the image of your God hallelujah I bind the spirit of suicide and I cast it out of you now in Jesus name and I cast it back to the lake of fire suicide is not of God my God you have a purpose in the earth you have a life that you have now live your life dream again hope again no matter my God who am I talking to no matter who's dropped you in life listen to me this I'm releasing this to someone people might have dropped you like the nurse dropped Mephibosheth. But God is a covenant keeping God. Mephibosheth still received all the inheritance of his father. Because of the covenant relationship that Jonathan had with David. Family, God is a covenant keeping God. I want you to know that God has prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. The table has been set for you. It's been reserved for you. 
And you have the invitation given to you by the Lord Jesus Christ to come and sit at the table and eat and feast of the goodness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And so, Father, we thank you for supernatural miracles. We thank you for powerful testimonies. Amen. And God gets all the glory. Family of God, remain humble. Remain humble. Remain humble. Remain obedient to God and his word. And I'm telling you, God will bring you through. And God will bring you out. Listen to me. Before you get to the palace, you have to go into the pit. We can learn that from the life of Joseph. So family, you have to go through what you have to go through in order for you to grow through what you have to go through. This is your growth process. This is your maturing process. Pray God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Thank you all for tuning in. I love you all so much with the love of the Lord. Amen. Let us love each other. Let us pray for each other. Let us be our brother's keeper. Let us honor the brethren of the faith. Praise God. Stop fighting and arguing with each other. We should not be in competition with nobody, not even ministries. No. No. We should be after the kingdom of God, advancing God's kingdom, displaying kingdom lifestyle every day in our living. Let's be true, authentic representation of Jesus Christ. That's my prayer. And that's my cry. And that was the cry and the prayer of Jesus Christ in John 17 verse 21. Jesus says, Father, let them be one. As I am one with you, that they may know that you have sent me. Family, it was purpose that brought you into existence. Let us walk in oneness. Let us walk in oneness with, with, with God. In our intimate relationship with him. Then we can operate from a place called we-ness. That we can operate as a community. Not fighting against each other. Who's better? Who's deeper? Who's more anointed? But we're not displaying Jesus Christ in our character and our lifestyle. Family of God, it's all about Jesus. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's all about Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Well, I didn't mean to stay on for quite a lengthy time but God gets the glory and I pray that you are blessed and you are encouraged I am blessed I am encouraged through the word of the Lord praise God so don't lean on your own understanding family trust God for God watches over his word to perform it your waiting in God will never be in vain will never be in vain God will bless you, he will sustain you, and he will keep you. May God sustain you. May God sustain you. May God keep you. May God sustain you, and may God keep you. You are blessed and highly favored. You are anointed, called by God, chosen by God, appointed by God for such a time as this. For such a time as this. So I release you with love today. And I release you with the blessing of the Lord. May you go forth and be fruitful. And multiply. Subdue the earth. Replenish. Praise God. Go out and be about your father's business. And stop being about people's business. Stop that. Stop that. There's work to be done out there. But there's also work to be done in the church. Because a lot of people are playing games. A lot of people are playing church. Stop. Stop. 
Don't be focused on how many members you got. Be focused on how many lives is coming to Jesus. How many souls have been won for the kingdom of God. Be focused on how many lives are being transformed to go out and make a difference in the world for Jesus. Be focused on raising up sons and not membership. Pulling people to yourself. It's all about you. Who are you? Who are you? You don't draw people to yourself. You're nothing without God. I'm nothing without God. Why must we bring attention to ourselves? Why must we do that? And the focus is gone from God. The focus now has become on you and not on God. When the focus must always be on God. Point people to God. Point people to God. Point people to the word of God. And stop pointing people to you. Challenge people to get deeper in the word of God. Challenge them to get deep into God's word. Are you understanding this? Are you understanding this? Praise God. Praise God. There's work to be done. There's a lot of mess going on. When I open Facebook, tears just want to roll down because of all the junk I see, the garbage I see. And people are so immature in the body of Christ that they cannot discern the difference what is of God and what is not of God. Come on, people. The word of God says, put a difference between what is clean and what is unclean. Put a difference between what is holy and what is unholy. Stop being led by your emotions and feelings and you're happy you're just having church. Why you want to have something that you are? You are the church. I am the church. Not the building. Are you understanding this people of God? There's many voices out there. But we have to hear and obey the voice of the Spirit of God. Pray for a stronger discerning of spirit. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my word. You cannot walk in disobedience. You cannot walk in dishonor and, disres and, and, and disrespect and expect God to bless you. No. So I challenge you today. It's a call back to returning to the true living God. Not the God of this world. The true living God. The God of all creation. Elohim. The God of our ancestors. Let's so return it back to the true living God. And it's a returning back to yourself. So that you discover yourself. You discover your purpose. The reason why you were born. The reason why you exist. Jesus even says. You are right. This is the reason why I was born. I was born to present truth. I understand my purpose. Family, when you don't understand your purpose, you will live an unfulfilled life. You will live an unfulfilled life when you don't understand purpose. Your purpose. Why you were born and why you exist. And let me also say one more thing. Take time to spend time with God. Nothing should be above your quality time with God. That should be your first priority. Number two, walk in love. 
Take time to appreciate one another. Love each other. Pray for one another. Value one another. That's important. That's so important. Don't wait for someone to pass away and then you want to buy the biggest bouquet and tell how much you love that person. When while you are alive, you didn't show love and appreciation. You didn't even show the love of Jesus Christ. Let's love one another. It's a returning back to the true living God. It's a returning back to Jesus Christ. Our purpose in this earth is for us to become more like Jesus. That was God. That's God's purpose for us, humanity. And, and God's purpose has not changed, people of God. Romans 8 verse 29 talks about that. Amen? So our purpose in this earth is to become more like Jesus. Become more like Jesus. Reflect Christ in the earth. Not your title, not, not your title, not your gift. Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, know that your first ministry is to your family. Then to the church. That's how we see there's a lot of mess going on. Because we have it the other way around. Your first ministry is to your family. Always remember that. I pray that you bring balance in your life from today. Don't be all over the place. Try to be everywhere. Try to do everything. But God didn't say anything to you. Then who are you boasting about? Yourself? Or your boast should be in God? You should not be promoting yourself. You should not be announcing yourself. Holy Spirit will do that for you. This is not a time and a season for performances. No. No more performances. Even in the church. We need the true raw power of the Holy Ghost in our churches. We have not seen God's glory as yet. Because when he steps into the room, we don't need instruments, we don't need sound, we don't need people who have wonderful voices. When God steps in, when God steps in, he shows up and he gets the glory. He gets the glory. Let us return back to God. Let us return back to God. And let us learn God's ways. Some people say they know God, but they don't know God's ways. The song we used to sing many years ago, Show me your ways, God, that I may walk with you. The cry of my heart is to love you. To live with you all the days of my life. To become stronger each day. Show me your ways. It's a returning back to God's ways. Let's follow the pattern. Why have we drifted from the pattern? We should not, we should not be building our empires, but we should be building the kingdom. We should be advancing the kingdom. Leaders, the cry of my heart to you is I pray that you will properly foundate God's people. Listen, they're not your people. They're God's people. The cry of my heart and my prayer and my supplication to God is I pray that you will properly foundate the people whom God has assigned in your life properly in the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Equip them 
perfect them, mature them, help them to take them through the process from being a techno, a little child, to come into the sonship. Not to draw them to you. Perfect them, equip them, mature them for the work of the ministry. And I'm telling you, God will reward you. Your reward comes from God. Your promotion comes from God. Your increase comes from God. All what you need comes from God. Family, I love you once again. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to listen in. I did say I was ending early on, but I just had to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Thank you. I'm humbled and I'm honored. Please, I ask you to share this broadcast. Be a blessing to someone. Be a channel of a blessing to someone. And God will reward you for you diligently seeking him. God bless you. I love you. In my thoughts and prayers, God willing, I'll be back when the Lord says so uh, to do another live, Facebook live um, broadcast. So family, don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy in this time. Don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Allow yourself to be led, governed by the Holy Spirit daily, for they are the true sons of God they are the mature ones according to Romans 8 verse 14. Praise God. God bless you. Shalom.